Okay, so we are going to talk today about this really cool new biofeedback device, really, called LV. It helps you know if you're doing your kegels right. It is awesome, and essentially you get a little device, and you use it to do your kegel exercises. You insert it into your vagina, and you do your exercises, and it tracks your progress and uh, tells you if you're doing them correctly by this cool app that you download. So clicking on the LV app that is downloaded to the iPhone and we'll go ahead and let's get started. I am going to experiment today. I want to try, there's these really fun workouts that you can do. So I'm not actually going to do a workout today though. I'm going to go back to the main screen where it just tracks how your kegels look where you don't have to actually follow an actual workout. So why I wanna do this is because I wanna show you not just how it measures my Kegel contraction, but I also wanna show you what happens when I do hip circles and then when I do hip circles with a Kegel. So we're gonna just sort of experiment and play here. So let's get started and we're just gonna start with plain Kegels. So let's we push the let's start button Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just relax my pelvic floor. Okay, so it's telling me to relax. Now I'm lifting. This is just a plain Kegel. Nice job, I'm going, I'm, ah, oh, and then relaxing. Okay, I know it's probably weird for you to watch me do a <laughs> Kegel. So go ahead and push try again now, and we're just gonna do it again. So this is again just, we're relaxing and lifting in time with the instructions, so relax. And then lift and relax. So it's cool because it shows you if you're maybe not relaxing sufficiently, it's going to show you. Okay, so now we're going to see the difference between kegels, hip circles, and kegels with hip circles. And I'm going to relax totally. So, okay, three kegels one, two, and three. Okay, so now I'm going to do three hip circles. and just going to see. So this is hip circles. So, oops. <laughs> okay, relax. I'm telling myself to relax. Okay, hip circle. And forward and back. And forward and back. And forward and back. And forward and back. So I'm pretty active the whole time. I'm going to let it go. Okay, now I'm going to try a hip circle where I really try to add a kegel on the way forward. So relax. So I'm going to hip circle forward and do a kegel and then relax it back. And then forward, do a kegel as I swing it forward and relax it back. Forward, do a kegel and relax it back. One more time forward, do a kegel, and relax it back. Okay, now let's try those plain kegels again. Kegel, and relax. Kegel, and relax. Kegel, and relax. The hip circles with the kegel. Forward, kegel, and relax it back. Forward, kegel, and relax it back. Forward kegel and relax it back. Forward kegel and relax it back. Okay, again, plain hip circles with just no kegel at all. Just circling it around. No kegel, I'm just circling my hips. It doesn't go up as high, but it also doesn't relax all the way. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little little training thing here where so you can see me talking. As I'm talking, the gem is going up because my pelvic floor is engaged. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens when I laugh. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, hey, that's pretty good. How about when I cough? <coughs> good. I'm squeezing my pelvic floor before I cough. That's good. <coughs> okay. It's about the same, maybe even less. 
This is my kegel. And then here's my kegel with the hip circle. Swing it around forward and back around, relax. Swing it around forward and back, relax. Swing it around forward and back, relax. Swing it around forward and back, relax. Okay, plain kegel now. Kegel, relax. Kegel, relax. Kegel, relax. And this is kind of funny for me because my, <laughs> my, my little kegels are getting a lot smaller. They're, they're not as, my lifts are not as high as they were when I first started, before I actually started recording this video, because I wanted to experiment with the hip circles and the kegels and everything. And I was so impressed by the fact that when I first was starting and before I was recording this, I felt like when I used the hip circles with the kegel, so I really intentionally lifted my pelvic floor as I circled forward and relaxed my pelvic floor as I circled back, uh, I was actually getting a stronger contraction uh, than I was when I did just a plain kegel. Now, I think you still kind of saw that on this recording, but I think, honestly, I <laughs> I've now been doing my kegel exercises for, um, I don't know, a solid probably 15 minutes I've been playing with this, and my muscles are getting tired. You can tell that my squeeze just isn't as strong as it was when I first started. So um, anyway, really interesting stuff. I'm excited to play with it more.